This video is going to be in two parts, and so welcome to part one of what you need to know about opening a coffee shop. First things first is research, and that can be done by three ways, at least what I did. The first thing is books. The second thing is the internet. Google, we love her. And three is actually going into different coffee shops and asking the different owners there what they did and how they became a coffee shop owner. The three books that I recommend for you to read before you start anything with your coffee shop is first, Setting the Table by Danny Meyer. This book is a hospitality book. He opened Shake Shack, he's super famous. He really goes into how to be hospitable and what you need to do in the service industry and pretty much any industry that you are working with other people, this is key. The second book, which I suggest everyone read is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. He is so inspirational and this book really tells you about why you're doing your business. That really drives us. And a really huge example that he uses is Apple and why their products are amazing and what they as a company have done to really succeed and thrive. Third, it's called The Daily Grind. I've actually read this book twice and this is more so for a brick and mortar shop, but it really has everything that you need to know about opening a coffee shop. So definitely pick this up, she's key. The next step, after research is mentorship and consulting. I have a mentor and I have a consultant. Mentors really allow you to ask questions that you're really afraid to ask other people. One of the greatest resources that I've learned for mentorship is called SCORE, okay? Every city has a branch of SCORE. And what SCORE is, is basically all these retired business people who want to be mentors. It's like a big brother, big sister program, but for businesses. These people have done it, you know, and they can mentor you through it. It's totally free. You have free classes online. It teaches you how to do everything that you need to do to start a business. It's awesome. Okay, the second half to that is consulting. So consultants are different than mentors because you pay for these services. I have the most amazing coffee consultant in the entire world. His name is Chris DeFerio. He is the host of the podcast called Keys to the Shop, and he offers coffee consultants. He has truly helped me more than anyone ever. Go to keystotheshop.com and fill out all the information about yourself and talk to him. His first like consult consultation is free. You call him up, tell him about your idea for a coffee shop, and he'll really guide you and tell you whether or not his services are gonna be good for you. They literally walk you through point A, like literal idea, to opening, to even after opening, helping you with your systems, helping you with your drinks, like everything you need, go to keys to the shop, okay? So get a mentor, free, get a consultant, you gotta pay. The next thing I would like to suggest is looking for your vehicle. As a mobile coffee shop, you're gonna have to see if you're gonna want a food truck type of thing, a trailer, a little tiny car. Definitely start joining Facebook groups in your town about the mobile coffee shops. According to your location, if it snows a lot, you might wanna get something a little bit more sturdy. Or if you're on the West Coast and you have a little bit more sunshine and nice weather, there's so many different elements to that. So do a little bit of research about the vehicle that you want because your vehicle really then helps you guide the rest of your plan. Next thing is going to be a business plan. A lot of people have different varying thoughts about business plans, whether they should be one page, whether they should be thought out in 30 pages. Mine was the full shebang. My business plan took me about eight months to write and to finish. One of the greatest resources to do a business plan is called liveplan.com. You sign up and it literally walks you through every single step of writing a business plan. So why do you need this business plan? First of all, it's really important for you to understand your business. And if you can understand every single number, every single thing about your business, it's just gonna help you understand how you're gonna grow, how you're gonna open. Second, it really helps financing your business. You're gonna need a lot of capital when you start a coffee shop. And starting a coffee shop is not cheap. And that comes with finding an investor, going to a bank, trying to ask for a loan. They are gonna ask you for a business plan and honey, you better have it ready. It's mainly so that people can see physically what it is that you want for your coffee shop. 
And if you need help with a business plan, I had a ball writing mine. So please feel free, DM me, email me. That was it for part one, and I'll see you next time for part two.